Does more than one person need to use your PC? Like me! Don't forget me! Looking good. Phew, I was beginning to get an identity crisis. Well now there's just one of me, welcome to PC Support TV. I'm Mike Halsey. The original, you might say. Just as with those guys, you might not be the only person who wants to use your PC, laptop or tablet. So in this program, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up, manage and remove user accounts in Windows 8. User accounts are controlled through the Immersive Control Panel. Click the Settings Charm and then click Change PC Settings in the bottom right of your screen. When you're in the Immersive Control Panel, click Accounts in the left menu and then click Other Accounts. This will take you to the options for managing accounts on the PC other than your own. To add a user account, click the Add an Account link. You'll be asked for a Microsoft account ID. This is the person's email address such as Hotmail, Live, MSN or Outlook or a login that they're already using with a Windows phone or an Xbox. You don't need to know their password, just their email address as they won't be asked for their password until the first time they log in to the computer. If they don't have a Microsoft account ID, perhaps they use a Google or Yahoo email address and haven't used Microsoft services before, you have two options. You can create a local account on the PC, I'll explain what this is in a minute, or if the person is there with you, they can click sign up for a new email address to create a new Microsoft account ID. So what's the difference between a Microsoft account and a local account? Well, it's best I detail some of the things that you can do with a Microsoft account. If you sign into Windows 8 using a Microsoft account, the system will automatically set up your email, contacts and calendar for you if you use Microsoft's email systems such as Hotmail or Live. It will also allow you to use Microsoft's OneDrive file backup and sync system to keep backup copies of your files and access them on your different Windows 8 PCs. You can also synchronize many settings on your PCs including your start screen and desktop settings, your usernames and passwords for websites, your internet favorites and more. If you sign into your computer using a local account though, and that's one that's just an only associated with that particular PC, you won't be able to use these features automatically and you also won't be able to install apps from the Windows Store. You can also click add a child's account to create a child's account on the PC. This allows you to set child friendly options such as limiting the websites they can visit, the games they can play or the times of day and days of week they can use the PC. You'll manage these child options in Family Safety, and I'll show you how to do this in another program. When your new account is set up, you can manage it from within the Immersive Control Panel. Clicking the user's name presents two options, Edit and Remove. Clicking Edit allows you to change the user account from an administrator, standard user and child. An administrator has full control on the PC and can install any software and make any changes they like. Standard users, however, can only make changes that affect their own account, not anybody else's. They also can't create and delete other accounts, and they're generally the best type of account to use for additional users on your PC. Clicking Remove will delete the user account from the PC and will also delete all of the user's files that are stored on the PC. So it's best to make sure everything's been backed up first. Before Windows 8 can synchronize personal settings such as your internet usernames and passwords, you need to verify your identity. 
If you've just created a Microsoft Account ID on your PC, you'll have been asked to do this, but you can do it later in the Immersive Control Panel by clicking Accounts. Here you'll see the text you need to verify your identity on this PC with a Verify link. If you'll use this PC only once or twice, then you might not want to verify yourself. This will prevent sensitive and personal information being synchronized to it. But if it's a PC you'll use often, make sure you check the I sign in frequently on this device, don't ask me for a code checkbox. Doing so will prevent Windows 8 from asking you to verify your identity again should you want to do something such as purchase an app using a credit card. So that's how you add, manage and remove user accounts on your Windows 8 PC. I hope you found this program helpful and that you'll join me next time on PC Support TV. But for now, it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from him.